It's a classic Hollywood setting. A gigantic asteroid is hurtling towards Earth and threatens to destroy all life on our home planet. Fortunately, the screen heroes always manage to avert the approaching disaster from space at the last second. What in our days is no more than an imaginary science fiction scenario became a cruel reality for the inhabitants of prehistoric times. Thus, the majority of experts are sure that the decline of the dinosaurs was heralded by an enormous asteroid, which crashed into the Earth approximately 66 million years ago. With this in mind, a fundamental question arises. What can we do if our terrestrial home is again targeted by a cosmic projectile? Well, in this regard, NASA has recently shown how it can be done. For example, an unprecedented milestone was achieved as part of the DART mission. How the spectacular bombardment of the asteroid Dimorphos proceeded in detail, and what next steps this exciting mission has in store, we show you in today's video. Want to learn more about the Space Agency's ambitious projects in the future? Then subscribe to our channel, click the bell, and come along on our journey to the greatest mysteries and discoveries of space. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Cosmic Test Alarm Spellbound stares, petrified expressions, followed by thunderous cheers and collective relief. In view of the scenes that recently unfolded in the ranks of NASA employees, one might think that the experts had actually succeeded in diverting an asteroid from its deadly course. But unfortunately, the initial situation was not quite so dramatic. And yet, the targeted bombardment of the double asteroid, Didymus, represented a groundbreaking milestone. Never before had mankind attempted to deliberately manipulate the trajectory of a celestial body. But what was the background of this unique mission? In order to understand this, a view of the statistics is worthwhile. At present, scientists assume that in the solar system, approximately 25,000 asteroids exist, which are large enough to destroy full-grown cities. In fact, 8,000 of these galactic projectiles have been discovered so far. In addition, it's considered certain that the Earth has already been hit several times over the course of millions of years by missiles from space, which set in motion a great mass extinction. Despite all of our technical and civilization achievements, mankind would not be immune to the severe consequences of an asteroid impact. For this reason, for some time, researchers have been searching for ways and means to react to such a danger if worse comes to worst. One possibility would be to fire at the missile in a targeted manner in order to divert its course. Whoever thinks of brute atomic bombs in this context is mistaken, however. In fact, our terrestrial projectile has much less explosive power. It is an unmanned space probe. The experts' initial brainstorms eventually gave rise to a solid concept. In 2015, for example, NASA and ESA announced their intention to carry out a cosmic test alert as part of the ADA mission. The original plans called for the European Space Agency to first send the AIM probe into the realms of the selected asteroid. Subsequently, the spacecraft would have observed the impact of DART and documented any orbital changes. But unfortunately, the realization of this endeavor failed due to funding. The budget for AIM was canceled. As a result, DART left our blue home planet alone on November 24, 2021. About 10 months later, on September 26, 2022, to be precise, the time had come. The NASA probe, which is about 6 feet long and weighs over 1,250 pounds, crashed into the smaller component of the double asteroid Didymus as planned. The Target Object As mentioned at the beginning, Didymus is not a single astronomical small body, but a double asteroid. That this is so, however, became apparent to the experts only a good seven years after the first discovery. At that time, on November 20, 2003, the researchers found out that the missile is accompanied by a small component. While Didymus A has a diameter of about 2,625 feet, the diameter of its gravitationally bound counterpart, Dimorphos, is under 560 feet. The distance between the two objects is less than three-quarters of a mile. 
before Dimorphos has described a complete orbit around Didymus A, 11.92 hours pass. Since close approaches of the double asteroid to the Earth are not excluded, it's consequently classified among the potentially dangerous celestial bodies. However, the fact that a failure of the DART mission would be associated with catastrophic consequences for terrestrial life was considered impossible from the outset. The current orbit poses no danger to us. At the time of the aforementioned impact, Didymus was about 7 million miles away from our blue home planet. Pioneering Impact Before the DART spacecraft reached its scheduled target, it spotted two more near-Earth asteroids along the way. A few days before the induced crash, Lycia Cube was undocked from DART. In detail, this was a so-called CubeSat, which was provided by the Italian Space Agency, ASI, and documented the impact and the subsequent ejection, a task that the equipment will also dedicate itself to in the coming weeks. Four hours before the crashing mission climax, DART switched to autonomous navigation. Transmitting control commands from here on would have been too time-consuming. Thus, the spacecraft calculated all final course corrections itself and transmitted all data directly to Earth until the end. In this way, a literally complete picture of the impact was to be drawn. When DART finally crashed into Dimorphos, its velocity was 3.8 miles per second or 13,645 miles per hour. Thus, the force of the impact was equivalent to about three tons of TNT. The change in velocity of Dimorphos, brought about by the impact, is estimated to be less than two hundredths of an inch per second. In addition to Lycia Cube, the groundbreaking endeavor was observed by the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes, and many terrestrial radar systems and telescopes were also pointed at the impact site. As mentioned earlier, this was the first time in history that mankind attempted to influence the trajectory of a celestial body. However, to what extent this endeavor was really crowned with success remains to be found out in the future. This is where the ESA probe HERA will come into play. If everything goes according to plan, the unmanned spacecraft will set off into the vast expanses of space the year after next and reach the point of impact in 2027. From then on, the task will be to precisely document the orbital deviation of Dimorphos. Hera will also photograph the asteroids together with the impact site, measure them, and carry out chemical analyses and mass determinations. Anticipated Effects Before it can be determined to what extent the effects hoped for by the scientists will overlap with reality, Patience is still required. In the best-case scenario, the reduction in orbital velocity caused by the impact of the DART probe will cause Didymus to move somewhat closer to its cosmic counterpart. This change in distance would in turn cause the gravitational acceleration of the smaller asteroid to increase, consequently shortening its nearly 12-hour orbital period by about 10 minutes. As a result, the manipulation of the orbit will initially be rather small. However, it will initiate a process that will steadily amplify itself over time, so that the orbital deviation will also become more and more pronounced. In addition, the effects of the impact have been calculated to facilitate ground-based follow-up observations. If Dimorphos had not been hit head-on, but on its rear side in such a way as to increase its orbital period, its rotation period might have overlapped with the Earth's day-night cycle. In this case, it would not be possible to document all orbital phases of the smaller asteroid. What hopefully succeeded in the test case could possibly one day also help to avert a real threat. Potential Threats The importance of the field of planetary defense becomes even more apparent when we consider the potential consequences of an asteroid impact. In principle, any projectile larger than 1,600 feet in diameter can become a global threat. How the energy release of the explosion would proceed in detail depends largely on the size, speed, mass, and material composition of the galactic projectile. However, billions of people would probably be affected by the direct and long-term consequences of an asteroid impact of this magnitude. Even more devastating than the immediate explosive force and the associated pressure and heat waves, however, would be the severe opacity of the atmosphere. According to this, the fragments that would be whirled up in the course of an impact 
would reach the planet's natural protective shell and stretch around the entire globe like a dense veil. As a result of the rapid cooling, we would be confronted with severe crop failures and acid rain, and the natural flora and fauna would also be severely affected. If the spacecraft thunders into the ocean, the result would be the formation of a monster tsunami. These monster waves, more than 300 feet high, could bury entire sections of coastline and the land behind them. In view of these unpleasant scenarios, it is to be hoped that our Earth will not be targeted by a deadly asteroid, or that the defense measures of the experts will be mature and ready for use. If the worst comes to the worst, and now it's your turn to voice an opinion, what do you think about NASA's spectacular DART mission? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.